Welcome to our channel. We're Dara Snockler Grant of DIY Power Couple. In this video, we'll show you the differences between planks versus tiles for your next vinyl flooring installation. Let's first look at the look and feel of planks and tiles. Vinyl planks can be designed to mimic the look of hardwood flooring and have realistic wood grain patterns, colors, and even textures. Their finish can resemble the knots and imperfections of reclaimed wood or have a softer, more traditional style. The one thing you should know is that the same pattern can be printed on planks in the same box. In comparison, vinyl tiles are often designed to look like ceramic or other stone tiles. These tiles may have more of a stone-like texture and they can have more of a rectangular or square shape. Just like with the planks, their design pattern can be repeated within their same box. Here's a feature where they're similar. Both interlocking vinyl tiles and planks have a tongue and groove design. This allows them to connect without adhesive or nails. This is what's called a floating floor and DIYers like us can save time and money when installing them. And that leads us to the difference in cost. Vinyl planks and tiles vary slightly in cost with each other. Higher prices are associated with their thickness, multi-layer construction, and their padding. However, vinyl flooring overall is a budget-friendly option compared to other flooring materials, especially since it's stylish, durable, and waterproof. Hey guys, notice that interlocking planks and tiles have different coverage per square foot due to their individual shapes. Knowing how much flooring you need can help your home improvement project go much smoother. For us, this vinyl flooring here each used the same amount of boxes for an average sized room. Also, doing a dry layout before you begin helps you to see how much you're working with. It also helps you to determine your center point. And if you're trying to decide between plank or tile flooring to install yourself, the good thing to know is that you can use some of the same DIY tools. We have a DIY playlist that will help you step by step how to install vinyl flooring that we'll leave in the description below. You'll want to get a good underlayment to provide a moisture barrier and sound absorption for your floating floor, no matter if you're going to install interlocking planks or tiles, especially if your subfloor is concrete. If you are installing over an existing vinyl floor, then that becomes your subfloor. Both vinyl planks and tiles can be installed in most any indoor living space that is not exposed to a lot of direct sunlight. Laundry rooms, bedrooms, kitchens, and bathrooms are great spaces for this type of flooring. One difference is that vinyl planks can be scored and cut on the ends with a box cutter or utility knife. Luxury vinyl planks have more synthetic layers and come with an attached pad. We found it more effective to mark and cut them on the pad side to avoid chipping the top surface of the plank. A circular saw can be used for lengthwise and special cuts. For vinyl planks without an under pad, we cut on top. Special cuts allowed us to form fit the planks around door casings and closets and entryways for a nice clean look. Installing interlocking vinyl planks can give you a wood floor aesthetic and save you money. In comparison, when we installed interlocking vinyl tiles, we could not cut them with a utility knife, so we needed a power tool. The circular saw was used for simple cuts like cutting the tile in half. We used the jigsaw for more precise cuts, or what we call special cuts. For us, interlocking tiles were less pliable and a little more difficult to install around door jams and casings. 
Installing interlocking vinyl tiles can be a budget-friendly option for a look of ceramic, marble, or stone. Both provide similar flooring durability and maintenance, so the main difference between interlocking vinyl planks and tiles will come down to your personal style preference in your home. So DIY family, we want to know, what would be your preference? Write in the comments so we can see if it's going to be planks or tiles. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us today, and we look forward to seeing you soon. If you like videos like these, be sure to check out our other videos and subscribe to our channel for more DIY.